Hello family, welcome back to another week's video. I am Shauna LaKell, if you're stopping by for the first time, and to all our returning family members, welcome back to another week's video. Just as the title says, it is my spring tear tray video, and we have butterflies, bumblebees, lemons, and ladybugs, oh my. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. We got quite a bit. I am excited to share these tear trays with you. So I'm gonna stop chit-chatting and I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera set up so that we can go ahead and get started. Thanks again for stopping by. Okay, family, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna first wipe down the tear tray. I'm using Method. Daily Wood Cleaner. I'm gonna go ahead and get it nice and clean so I can go ahead and start decorating. I'm gonna do something totally different than I normally do. I am going to make this tear tray look very similar to, I guess a bouquet or something of that. I am going to do a lot of greenery. So, I wanna first start using this wreath that I have. And I'm gonna go ahead and open it up right here. It has a little opening. And I'm just gonna open it up so it can kinda of spread around. And then I'm gonna leave it because I do want it to try and open, to spread over as much as possible. I'm building a foundation here. That's what I'm doing, building a foundation. And I just want to, so don't worry about that opening. It will be closed. You won't be able to see it when I'm done. So next I'm gonna go ahead. I have these greenery um, that I wanna use, some flower picks as well as some stems. They're very beautiful butterflies. Aren't they cute? It's like they're really moving, huh? <laughs> so we have butterflies, and then we have some, these almost look like forsythias, but I think they're called verdanum, verdanum, something of that nature. I might be pronouncing it wrong, and I apologize. So I have a cute little bouquet, and what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. I'm going to mount it. So I've got a couple more pieces I want to use. I'm going to mount it right here. I'm gonna take some twine and tie around it. I hope it will hold, we'll see. Should hold it. Perfect. You see what I'm doing? I'm covering this big ball here. So I wanna try and bring some of these around. I see some ball, a ball spot right here. So I'm gonna try and bring it around. And see if I can cover that. I have a couple more greenery that I know I can put right there. About right in here. Cover that right there, perfect. So, that's what I'm trying to do. Let's just make it look like a bouquet up there at the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start adding uh, another big piece that I have. So I now I have this greenery, or the flower pick, should I say, in place, and then we have the greenery here. I'm going to take this bumblebee a nice big size bumblebee and I purchased this bumblebee and a lot of the other items I'll share with you I purchased this one from Carolina Pottery so if you have a Carolina Pottery in your area how cute is that that is so cute that little bumblebee and I want to stick him right in here somewhere like that you see 
put them right there. And then I'm going to continue to build on top of here with my greenery. You know, I have my ferns. So we're going to start building. And what I'm trying to do is get this fern and all my greenery to kind of flow over the tear tray a little. see how this is going. and you'll see how I'm gonna continue to keep building and it's just gonna be a plenty of greenery here that's what I'm doing I'm putting a lot of greenery in here and do you remember my lambs ears I have I'm gonna use them again and I'm just gonna stick I want all those textures and those different colors, that's what I'm trying to go for. So I have the dark green, then I have a light green, and I have that pale green. Let's just see how that pops. It just really pops pretty good there. I like that look. And then I'm gonna come over here on this side and add another one. And then I have some of these beautiful daisies. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add them right in there. Add some right there. And I think I'll add another one there. And I have some of these cute little pom-poms. I'm gonna just add them around here. Stick them in. And look how that looks, so cute. I have some more, so I'm gonna get some more of them. And there we go. I'm gonna keep adding. That is really starting to turn out nice. You see how that looks, everyone? And the reason why I'm doing this because I have some more bumblebees and I am going to let them sit right on top of the greenery. But before I can do that, I do have some more bigger pieces that I would like to add, and I think this will look nice. See this right here? It's cute. It says, welcome to our hive. And I think I can just sit that one right in there, nestle it right there. That's cute. And I do have one more piece. I do have a Ray Dunn mug. I purchased this last year and I do want to kind of nestle it in here somewhere. So, and I have this little crown. It came off my other mug that says Queen Mother. So I just thought I'll put that like that. And then I have these cute little bumblebees that I got also from Caroline Prottery. And I'm gonna just nestle it right in there like that. So that's what I'm trying to aim to do. So let me get started here. See where I can find a place to put this. Right there. How do that look? See? And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the crown. And I will add that little bead that I showed you. It's coming together looking really nice. I have some open space there that I'm gonna go ahead and close up. I will close that up, I'm not done, but I'm gonna go ahead and move down to the bottom tier. And then I'll work my way back up, okay? I'm gonna take that same concept. I have another one of these evergreens that I'm gonna use just to layer it right there. And then I'm going to start. There is no wrong or right way to decorate your tear tray. If you don't want greenery, that is fine. I'm a greenery girl. I like my tear tray to be full and I love different textures and shades of greenery. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my big pieces. I purchased this last year 
And I'm gonna put honey right here. I think that's gonna be a perfect place to sit that way. When you're creating your tear tray, I want you to have fun with your tear tray. I want you to enjoy your tear tray. Find things around your home, or you can go to the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Hobby Lobby, Caroline Pottery, Michaels, and find small little pieces that you can add, but have a theme in your mind so that it can all go together and flow together. Remember that open space right there? I'm gonna take some more greenery and try and fill in that space. And I'm gonna also take another bumblebee. I like these. If you have a Carolina pottery in your area, make sure you go and check them out. They actually come on a floral stem, like you can make, and I just pulled them off and I'm just gonna nestle them right like that. I'm thinking about the bumblebees, how they are in your um, flowers, in your flower beds. Just nestle it in there, just like that. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I am Shauna LaKell and I appreciate you stopping by and spending a few moments with me. If you are enjoying today's video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. On my channel, you will find <laughs> satisfying cleaning, home decor, home decorating, tear tray decorating, and shop with me's as well as some product reviews. I hope you will take a few moments and before you leave and click on that subscribe button and become a part of my YouTube family. Just when I thought I was done, I'm back on the bottom tier tray making changes. I just want it to sit right there. And it's a rolling pin, so it's trying to roll. And there is nothing wrong with changing things in and out. It is your tear tray. You can go back and forth as many times as you like. Remove items, add items. It's your tear tray. Who's going to be looking at it? You. It's in your home for your pleasure.
I have moved on to my ladybug as well as my lemon theme tear tray. And I have already placed the, um, the bouquet in place with now I have red butterflies. And I'm gonna take the same concept that I used using the greenery, this evergreen reef. And I'm gonna place it there and I'm gonna continue to build on it, but I'm gonna use different things. And what I'm just trying to show you, you can do, you can create whatever you wanna create. That's what I wanna say. And make it look beautiful using the same concept. I just wanna build it up high. I wanna be able to cover these stems here. See those stems? So I'm gonna build that up and cover all that up. And let's go ahead and we're gonna get started with this, okay? And the ladybugs, I purchased the ladybugs from Carolina Pottery as well. They were very inexpensive. And I want to put this one in place first because I don't think this Anirondack chair will be able to sit properly on a bunch of greenery. So I'm going to just sit this in place. So I think I got, I'm gonna feel a little bit more right here. I got another one. Let's put it right like that. I'm gonna cover that up. I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm gonna add some lemons to the mix. And I want to kind of close that up. So I think what I'm going to do, I'll add one of my lamb's ears, kind of close that up and fill it in. And I have another one. I purchased this also from Carolina Potty, Pottery. <laughs> and I'm just going to go ahead and let's see how we can put him right in here somewhere. Like that. I think that looks cute. It's coming together. It's amazing what you can do with greenery and a few pieces. So I have the pom poms again, and I'm just going to go ahead and put some of these little pom poms in there. I'm gonna stick a lemon uh, wedge in there. Just a lemon wedge. And I also purchased, it was on a, a, a stem, just like these butterflies. These little cute, I mean, they are so cute, these little ladybugs. So I took them off the stem. They had a little hole right there where it was on the stem and I just pulled it off and I'm just gonna nestle them around. They're small enough, just the right size that I need. And I'll do 
do another one. Ah. Here's another one. I'm gonna just stick it right there. See how cute that is? That is really cute, guys. I like that. Look how cute that is. Very beautiful. And I think I will add a baby one. Uh oh. Up. I think I'm gonna add a baby one right there. Now that is so cute. I like that. And I have a little open space right here, so I'm gonna take this fern, I'm gonna try and close that opening space, put that right like that. And I think that's cute. And I need to put something right there. So I'm just kind of close that up. Hide all that so it's not noticeable too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. That top tier looks really cute. I like it. I like the top tier. We're gonna move on down to the bottom tier now, okay? two different sizes one is a big one and one is a small one so I think I'll put that big one right there and then I'm gonna nestle this smaller one right back there and I have a couple more just add them to the tray let's see I think I'm gonna use one of these little smaller ones so they can go right there. How that looks. Let's see. Yep, that looks good. I need to close in a gap here. So I'm gonna add some lamb's ear and a little daisy right there. And I think I'm gonna pop this little pom-pom right in here. I have one more lemon wedge, and I think I'm gonna just go ahead and put that one right there. Actually, let's change that. I wanna put a sign. So I think I'm gonna put a sign there. Carolina Pottery and they did not have any more of these little ones so I was very disappointed they said someone had came and they bought the whole barrel of them I was like good lord so here's another one that they had so I'm going to use these picks and I'm going to add some up here 
So you see what I did right there? Isn't that cute? That looks cute. And then I'm gonna add this one onto this side. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure enjoyed creating these spring tear trays for you. Remember, we have our ladybug with lemons as well as our bumblebee. And remember, I did purchase all these items from Carolina Pottery. And if you find them, make sure you get what you need because they will go pretty fast. Remember, if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.